Hello, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and today I would love to invite you to join me for a craft therapy session. Um, if you are new here, if you haven't seen any other craft therapy videos on my channel, this is a little series of videos where we just spend an hour or so together doing something creative, anything really. It doesn't have to be a specific project. It doesn't have to be some kind of like a big inspiring thing. It can be as easy as just fussy cutting or gluing things down. Uh, all of this I've done before. So this series is just pretty much a, or at least I hope it is, it is for me. Uh, it's like a deep breath uh, in, uh, you know, in this stressful world. And so, uh, yeah, so I hope you will join me. I hope you will grab yourself a project, any project, no pressure, no overthinking, just fun, just creating for the joy of it, creating for the sake of creativity itself. Uh, grab yourself self a project, anything you would like to work on, maybe a nice comforting beverage in my case. Today this is a decaf coffee with some <clears throat> plant-based milk and some cinnamon sprinkled on top and it smells wonderful. And so today for me my craft therapy project is going to be working a little bit on some unfinished ephemera. So every time I make a video um, where I show you guys how to uh, create something or how I create something, um, I usually make a few items too many to fit in one video. And so then I gather them all and um, put them in in a little container to be finished at some other point and um, I think I would like to do something with them today, maybe finish some of them, add the completed one to my stash of ephemera and yeah, so again, no pressure, no overthinking, uh, just a relaxing time crafting. So what I have today is I have some altered paper clips. We made these together and all of the videos that I will mention, and I think I will just mention two, <laughs> um, but I <clears throat> I will try to remember and add them to the description box. But these we made together and in the video we made more, we decorated some of them, um, but basically they work like this. So let's say this is my journal page and you just slip this onto the journal page. Um, and yeah, and it is an altered paper clip. There is an actual paper clip hidden uh, between those two layers of paper. So I have five of those and I thought maybe I would decorate. Uh, also, this is using, I think, this is definitely Stamperia paper. I think this is from Grand Hotel, maybe the collection is called. <clears throat> what else? I have some uh, tags which I cut out of my Pastel Blossoms digital kit. Um, I believe I used some Tim Holtz dies for this. I'm pretty sure I did. They are backed with coffee stained cardstock. And um, yeah, so the Pastel Blossoms kit comes with some main pages, but it also comes with this kind of mixed media -y, uh looking backgrounds. So yeah, I just took some of those pages, cut out tags, and now I would like to decorate them some more, maybe add some focal points, definitely something for uh, for those holes here. I also have these two strips of Edith Holden paper. They have been backed with uh, some book pages, some kind of random of cuts of book, of book pages that I had. And these I actually used in a recent video on Patreon. Um, me and my patrons, we are currently making an Edith Holden themed journal. And so, can I show you guys? And, uh, 
yeah so what we did this is my little overflowing basket of ephemera but we did those kind of strips using some scraps using some little ephemera pieces some flowers some postage stamps a little bit of stitching of fabric and what i'm going to be using them for is either belly bands or page decoration or tag spots or i'm going to just cut a part of it and use on a tag like this uh, for like an instant decoration so that's that's what I'm going to do with those that I already have but I of course made some more um, excuse me that I did not use so um, I thought maybe I could finish them today then I have just a random envelope which I, I had for ages this is this is just a beautiful book page which I used my envelope punch board, um, punched the shape of the envelope, folded it. I think, yeah, I think I also tea stained this this book page, and um, yeah, it works well on itself. I think just because the book page is so pretty, but maybe a little label, uh, something like that, maybe something on the flap here um, would look nice. And then I could just glue it and add it to my pile of finished ephemera. Then I have this this random thing. I think this is like a tiny piece of some collage master board that we made together. This is um, backed with some packing paper. So I would, I would like to put it maybe on some coffee paper, something like that. Maybe add something to the front, maybe add some stitching around and have it like a tiny journaling card. And then uh, the last thing I have uh, is those folios we made those together as well so again i will um, try to find this video and link it below and so the idea for this was that i don't have i think i don't have any more that are made because i've already used them in my yeah I've already used them in my rose journals, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys very soon. But the idea is that we added a little bit of a closure so it stays open. But then when you open this up, this I actually stitched into... Okay, maybe I can actually show you guys. Let me give you a sneak peek of one of the rose journals. And... Uh, so what I did, I, yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is the middle of the signature. Here is our folio. Uh, this is a metal embellishment as a closure. And when we open this up, you can see that it is stitched here inside. Then we have a lace pocket here, some collaging, some journaling space. And so this is what I did for the rose journals. And I think maybe I will do the same or maybe I will actually... I could also add some pockets and turn this into little ephemera folios and maybe add some freebies for my customers who purchase journals from me, something like that. But I really like this idea so you can very easily just stitch it like you would a normal page uh, in the middle of the signature. And here is a quick sneaky peek of the rose journal um one of the seven um i cannot wait to share those with you guys um i love how they are turning out they are slightly different from my regular style but i honestly just love them uh, so stay tuned for that and with all of that said let's start and i think what i'm going to start with is something that is just going to be like a warm-up for me so something that I think is um, just maybe the easiest for me out of all of this and I'm going to start with decorating those tags so let me grab my um, fussy card flowers and let's see if we can find some nice focal points for those first and then oh, look at this wow this is such a beautiful flower i love it then we can do some more some more decorating 
so how is everyone? I hope you are having a really restful, relaxing weekend. I'm filming this on uh, the day before, so I'm filming this on uh, Friday because today when you are watching this or when this video is, is going up anyway, uh, on Saturday we are going to see my mom. We have been invited to dinner. So this is very exciting. My sister will also be there. <clears throat> and I just can't wait to see them. We're of course taking Zuzia with us. Huh, how about this? This is gorgeous. I would of course cut out those um, inside pieces. Alrighty. Something. Hmm. I don't. <clears throat> I don't even really know what I'm looking for. This could be an option here too. Where is? Where are <clears throat> some of these sticking together? Oh, the small ones. I will leave to the side because they are awesome to use on those scrappy belly bands that I showed you guys. That we may also make make some of those together. <laughs> this is a huge flower. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But it's waiting for its perfect project. <clears throat> So I'm looking for something, first of all, with the right size. Not too big, but not too small either. How about this? Do I want to go with, with yellow for both of those? Maybe I do. Why not? Why not? Just one, one last look. <clears throat> And as always, as I am sifting through this pouch, I am reminded that I really, really need a better system for keeping my fussy cut flowers. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm actually satisfied with those choices. Yeah, this this is not working, but um, all of these were fussy cut quotation marks in um, um, or via rather via scan and cut um, with the help of my amazing boyfriend and uh, yeah and as you can see he cut so, man so many of them that I had to figure out a quick way to store them now okay which one do I want well, I actually love both of them, but how about, maybe because this is so small, I could actually use, let's just start with cutting the insides <clears throat> and we will see a sip of coffee. <clears throat> yeah, so I really had to figure out a quick way to store them and um, a quick is not always the most efficient. <clears throat> so I know that I will want to make ephemera holders for those flowers. But I don't know, I just... It's hard to find time. I find that, especially in my case, because like I said probably a thousand times, I am not a naturally organized person. I'm not a person who just, you know, walks into a messy room and half an hour later, um, it's all just pristine. Um, so organizing takes time for me, but it's always worth it. Organizing and kind of also just figuring out systems that work, you know? That's, that's 
definitely a part of it and <clears throat> and when it is figured out then it makes my crafty life so much easier okay and this bit <clears throat> so this scan and cut does not cut the insides um, it only cuts out the outline which is fine by me I mean this is saving me hours and hours of of fussy cutting which I still like to do <clears throat> but a fun thing is now I can do it to relax and not because I am in desperate need of some fussy cut flowers because I'm running out <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think I'm going to run out of of them anytime soon, which is perfect. So yeah, so we are going to to see my mom. Well, by the time you you see this video, we'll probably be already be back. And my mom lives in um, in a city. Is it a city or a town? Would anyone be so kind and explain to me in the comments the difference between a city and a town? Um, because I, 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 I don't know where to use them. And the thing is, like everyone I think says my hometown, but I'm not sure my hometown is actually a town and not a city. I don't know. I don't know. I just think the city is bigger, right? Does it have to do something with the number of churches? I've I've heard something like that. Maybe this is completely wrong. But if anyone would be so kind to explain to me, I love I love, love, love it every time. Uh, some of you guys give me like language advice. Um, I love English so much and <clears throat> I want to keep getting better. So keep them coming, you guys. If you ever feel like, um, like if you ever hear that I am using maybe some expression wrong or something is wrong with my pronunciation, um, I'm just so happy to learn, so let me know, let me know. Okay, and then this one, and I think maybe this this little bit here, because it's going to bug me. And yeah, and for those of you guys who may be newer here and don't know, I come from Poland. So Polish is actually my uh, first language and English is... English would be my language of choice. If I could choose a language I live in, <laughs> that would be English. I find it beautiful and very comfortable and just I love how it feels and um, I've actually been journaling like writing journaling in English for years now and I, I feel that sometimes it's easier for me to um, to express my emotions in English rather than in Polish because I've been doing this for so long in my journals uh, and so a funny thing is that in my therapy sessions um, I sometimes just switch to English with my therapist because thankfully he speaks English as well because it's just sometimes easier so that's fun okay I think I love it I think I want to use both of those he this pretty pretty I'm not sure if this is a lily of the valley looks like that and then a beautiful sunflower here okay now I am going to <clears throat> to want to use oh this is so pretty not want do not want to tear this but I do want to use some scraps of different papers to add a little bit more layers and interest to the collaging so I'm just going to grab some 
from my scraps box. <clears throat> Maybe some tea stain paper too. Maybe a little bit this. This is like embossed vellum. I just added it to my um, embossing machine. Oh, some music paper. It's always nice. Okay. I think we can start with that. So let's see about here. more. I would like this little cluster to be a little bit um, taller. Oops, <clears throat> I think I lost some piece. Where did it go? Huh. <clears throat> I thought something went on the floor, but maybe I was wrong. <clears throat> Okay, and I'm sorry for my super scratchy voice. I am still getting over the cold that I had. I'm feeling much better, but I feel like my voice is telling a different story. <laughs> uh, and maybe just a little bit of some interest with this coffee stained paper. Like that. How about that? Yes, I really like it. Do I want to ink up those? No, maybe not. Um, now let me grab my glue. If I can find it. Oh. Here it is. <coughs> And I think I'm just going to start with, with this. Hmm. Lower because <clears throat> I don't want it to cover my hole. And this one. I'm not sure this is how I had it in the first place, but that's okay. Now for this <clears throat> paper, I'm going to use wet glue because for some reason this ledger paper just does not like my glue stick. It's a bit thicker too. Excuse me guys, I need to unclog this. Okay. That should be better. Then <clears throat> it's also slightly thicker, so I'm also going to use wet glue. Oops. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I really like it. Oops, I'm sorry. So what else could I do? Okay, maybe let's leave this one to the side. <clears throat> and add a few pieces 
to the small one and get this <clears throat> a little bit of heat of holden for beautiful writing and some letter paper small small little cluster and then for here I could use this bigger piece and I'm going to leave those uh, rough edges like that because I like the texture that they add to my tags maybe this maybe a little bit of the letter paper let's see <clears throat> if i can position those the way that everything is still still visible and yeah i think i think that's it okay i'm going to maybe leave this but throw out those tiny scraps <clears throat> and glue those down So I'm actually <clears throat> wondering what could my next journal collection be. Uh, early next week, I think, I will share with you guys my, um, my vintage rose journals. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to figure out, so maybe you will um, help me. Um, so my ideas are this i could make a boho a kind of like boho nature collection because i've just recently got some beautiful paper pads from amazon and they have the most luscious boho uh, like papers so boho is it's an idea but I was also thinking maybe uh, I have some old books with beautiful covers and so I was thinking of maybe making like a vintage nature uh, journals which I would use those book covers for the journals and um, I would try to put as many uh, actual authentic vintage items inside of those journals as possible so there would probably still be uh, some digitals or, or <coughs> excuse me or maybe um, patterned paper um, but mostly I would like it to be or copy paper um, but I would like it to be a lot of vintage kind of envelopes and letters and <coughs> my goodness sorry you guys uh, envelopes and letters and um, book pages vintage book pages something like that so that's another idea so boho or vintage okay what else do i want to add here I'm tempted to maybe add some postage stamps. Let's see. Let's see if I can find some that would go well with those colors, but also some that would add to to the background and you know that I would not cover completely. These are stunning. These are stunning. How about? I use one of these for it for each of those because this would give us a nice kind of cohesive 
cohesive look. So let me try this one. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe this light pink one for this tag with the pink flower. Where could we put it? Maybe something like this, maybe in the corner here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking <clears throat> something like that. And for this one, maybe, maybe this, unless this one would look would look a little bit better here and then we could use maybe this and this is this is oddly satisfying <laughs> peeling peeling off or rather um, tearing off those stems okay how about that yes I think I like it um, it works well with this pinky with the pink we have on the letter paper. I think I think I love it. So let's go and attach those. So this one would go here. Mm -hmm. and then this one definitely here in the corner I like how it looks here <clears throat> and then for this one I like it here but let's see if, if maybe it would work well somewhere no here it would be no, I think I like it in the corner as well. Like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty. What else? What else? Of course, you know, you can stop at any point. You guys just know that I really like adding, um, adding and adding um, layers to my collaging. So, how about some labels? Um, some Tracy labels or maybe some butterflies. Let's see if... If I could maybe add some of those here, although they are more kind of purple, not sure if if they would go well with the colors. No, I don't think so. Okay, so no butterflies, but maybe some labels. Maybe, maybe. These uh, labels are from Tracy Fox, her shop on, not sure if you can see, her shop on Etsy is called Love Junk Journals and she has tons of labels, so many sets, so many beautiful sets of, of labels and if you've been on my channel for really any amount of time, I'm sure you've seen them before. These tiny ones are um, uh, just the ones that I printed that I printed two per page so they are the regular size just just you know like 50% of the, of the regular size maybe something like this I really like it 
Um, for this one I would like one more. So again, as per usual, I'm going for threes. <laughs> mm. How about somewhere here? And I would like a, <clears throat> a really tiny one, but maybe brown or more neutral. No, oh, how about this guy? Maybe here. Yep. And this one. What can we add here? Something here for the middle. Oh, maybe this one. This is pretty. But then we would have two, two of the definitions, and I think I would like to maybe differentiate between those a bit. How about this one, actually? Yeah, I like the pink. Um, it's really similar to the pink that we have in the... A letter paper. Okay. I think that may be it for layering. So I'm going to add my focal point now. a little bit lower because once again I don't want it in this hole here because I am going to be putting something in the hole some kind of thread something like that a sip of coffee and then let's do this one So hot today here in Poland. We are at almost 30 degrees Celsius, which is so hot. Um, it's it's like summery hot, and we're still in spring. Um, but thankfully, it's just yesterday and today, and I think tomorrow um, it's going to get a little bit cooler and. Hopefully we are still going to get some cooler days. I really don't like heat too much and especially for some reason our apartment gets hot really fast in the summer and I'm saying for some reason because it's on the ground floor um, and from my experience those apartments that are kind of on the ground floor or you know, lower than higher, are uh, less likely to get so hot in the summer. But this one is just heating up. And so, yeah, so we are struggling a lot last year with it. And I think we need some good mm, fan <laughs> for our living, living room. And then I am definitely going to be utilizing my fan, my kind of like a ceiling fan that I have here in my room um, 
to film in the summer because yeah it's just super hot or it can get super hot super quickly and how much I like this here I'm thinking it's even too hot for Zuzia who is our chihuahua she usually likes or likes likes doesn't even start to describe it doesn't even begin to describe it she loves baking in the sun um, all day <laughs> if it was up to her she would be baking in the sun all day but today she's actually been sleeping inside I think it's a bit too hot even for her which is good I really don't want her to spend too much time in those really you know um, what's the word I'm looking for like in a very harsh sun I don't want her to get dehydrated or something like that so it's it's better for her to be inside on a day like this okay I really love them they are so I don't know so spring like aren't they <laughs> really like them okay and so before I add the strings I also have my little tiny embellishments box which is mostly sequins and kind of like confetti things and I thought how about I use some of those gold bits somewhere here to maybe add just some more interest and some um, shine <laughs> to to those to those tags and then I think I will also leave them to the side and I will um, before the end of the video I will pause I will stitch around them and then we will add something for the tag toppers uh -huh. okay maybe something like this or maybe a little bit more it's a big tag so I guess it could use some more Oh, I really love it. It's so lovely. Okay, it might need some gold, <laughs> some more gold, I mean, uh, from um, from my gilding wax. Now I that now that I think about it. So let's let's do this right. I think these three are perfect for this tiny tag um, yep and then this one <clears throat> maybe a little cluster of three down here and then how about we add one more, do I have some more of these sequins? Yes, I do. So maybe one more sequin here, a star. And then one more star there. And the glue dries clear, so you're not going to be able to see the the little glue blobs <laughs> that I have here now. Okay, I think they are super pretty. 
So as a finishing touch, let's add some gold. This is a gilding wax. The brand is a Polish brand. It's called the Renaissance. Um, but as I always say, and I, again, I'm sorry if I if you're watching most of my videos and I seem to be repeating myself a lot, but there are new uh, new people joining our creative garden every day. And so, um, yeah, I want to just share the materials that I'm using. So this is a gilding wax again from the Polish, from a Polish brand. The brand is called Renaissance, but any gilding wax or gilding paste or even gold texture paste will do the same. I used to use Inca gold before this and I also used uh, some other brands before, I don't remember which. This one is just the easiest for me to get a hold of since it's, it's a local brand, but yeah, anything you want the same effect any gilding wax gilding paste and look how how it just brings them to life and this is a perfect cherry on top just a perfect finishing touch I think I just need to get my my other color my other gold uh, which I used to have, then I ran out, then I got two other golds because that um, that one that I was using was unavailable and now I miss it so much because this gold, while it's pretty, it's just not right. It's a little bit, oops, it's a little bit uh, lighter than I like and the other one is a little bit too dark. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to clean my fingers. And I think we are done for now with those. I really like them. Uh, so I'm going to um, set them to the side so the glue and the gilding wax has have some time to dry. We will come back to those at the, at the end. And now how about maybe decorate about decorating some of those um, some of those uh, paper clips. Okay, just a sip of coffee. And let's do this. I have some small flowers. But now that I'm thinking, and that now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure they are the right colors, to be honest. Um, so what could we do? What could we do? How about postage stamps. I've been on a kick with those postage stamps, using so many of them recently and I just can't get enough. <laughs> so how about we make the postage stamps, our focal points, on one side and then I think I will do the same thing that I did in the video with, where we first created these. Uh, where the other side is going to be maybe a little label so that if you have it on your journal page you can add maybe a date of the particular journal entry you're working on something like that okay now I think I I need at least one more of these because look how perfect it just is <laughs> how perfect it is with those colors okay what else do we have Oh wow, look at the look at the colors you got. I don't know. I, this is just going really well. Wow. This one is stunning. I'm not sure if no, maybe I will save this one for a different project, but it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So we need something with pink, with blue, maybe a little bit of like muted green, something like that. Oh, or maybe, maybe, maybe something like this. It's nice, vintagey, and well, it could be, it could be an option because maybe here even because we do have some of this blue in those papers. So let's leave it for now. Oh, this one's one of my favorites, but this 
uh, minty green in the background just I don't think yeah it's, it's a bit too bright so again saving it for a perfect project how about this one here and I feel this one might be the trickiest because while I love this dusty kind of blue I'm not sure if I have any stamps that are going to go perfectly with it however maybe we'll just go for something like this maybe okay now can I find something else for this one Maybe something with pink but not this pink <laughs> oh look at this you guys this is just stunning this is just hmm hmm <laughs> now now I'm tempted to use those and kind of have them overhang a little bit like that oh, they are they're just just so beautiful okay so maybe maybe we can find something else for this one as well kind of I kind of like this actually and this is really nice with the colors but I'm not sure it's so busy and the background is so busy so if I can find something else maybe I will replace it or maybe I will just leave it the way it is stunning most of those stamps have been so so kindly gifted to me in a wonderful happy mail from Sophia who spoiled me so incredibly and yeah I'm, I'm just forever grateful mm -hmm. Okay, I know I could probably spend... Oh, wow! Look at this magpie! Those... I don't know... So I'm not even going to... Um, I'm not even going to pronounce or try to pronounce the name of this country. But those stamps are those big ones. And they are the most beautiful stamps. Wow! Really amazing. <clears throat> this one is Polish and it has a beautiful painting. What do you think, you guys? okay let's give it one last try and if I don't find anything I'm just going to go with with the ones that I've chosen initially so let's do a little bit of a shuffle oh oh perfect I love it I love how it um, works well with the vintagey with the vintagey colors Mm, this one is Polish too. I remember years ago when I was a child, my sister and I had actually owned oh, this too. Had actually had these are probably mine. <laughs> uh, we had a um, a few albums. A few. Oh wow. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. We had a few albums with stamps and. Unfortunately, this is one of my greatest regrets and I think that uh, many of us have those but before, way, way before I started working with junk journals, uh, my mom actually took them um, to, I don't remember where, maybe it was um, some kind of like a home for children without parents. Is it orphanage in English or is it 
or do you guys use a different word but she donated them anyway which is good but you guys i would love to have them i would love to have them back uh, and use them in my crafts yeah so who else has things that they've thrown out when um, you thought you would never need it and then you started junk journaling and you've regretted it since please tell me i'm not i'm not the only one and pretty much if you are a new at this craft then please don't throw away anything <laughs> Everything can come in handy, especially vintage thing things, obviously. So, okay, so now I am uh, just going to try to do a little bit of collaging, a little bit of, of layering so so that i add maybe some some more interest um, but still i want the stamps to be the the stars of those uh, paper clips the pretty bird one yep 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 uh, something else here maybe something to make it maybe a little bit lighter how about a piece of this Eat of Holden script here somewhere Maybe something like that. All right, let's try to glue everything down the way it is because I love the way it is right now. And then you could leave the back side plain or you could decorate it a little bit. I'm actually not sure yet what I want to do because if you leave it plain then it actually gives you or you know the I don't know the journal that you are making it in um, a chance to maybe add a little picture here something like this so I, I'm not sure yet Stunning. Stunning. Okay, now this. So then, when I'm done gluing those pieces down, I'm going to pause the camera and um, And stitch which way do I want it the same maybe uh, and stitch uh, around 
the tags so we can add some thread to them. Beautiful, if I may say so myself. <laughs> Who's this one? Okay, oh, I forgot. We were actually chatting about my next journal project and if you guys uh, maybe would like to see me do something because, of course, when I am working on my next project, uh, most probably most of the, of the ephemera and so on, I will be making here on YouTube with you guys. So it could be, once again, it could be boho, it could be... Uh, vintage. Uh, I was also thinking medieval, something like that. Uh, what else? It could just be a regular nature, <laughs> which is always a good idea, I think. Is there anything in particular that you guys would like to to see me make and so that we can make it together? Let me know, please, in the comment section below. Maybe here. I really like it. <laughs> and this one. Maybe something like this, <clears throat> so a little bit overhanging as well. So one last thing, I was thinking maybe to tie in those two projects, how about we add a tiny label to each one of those, maybe we can find something that would work but really rather small uh, so it does not take from the postage stamp. Let's see, I'm looking for, for some per perfectly some neutral colors, I think. Oh, I like this one here. <clears throat> Maybe something like that. We could even add it somehow. I think it will work. <clears throat> Oh, then maybe this one here, because the red is very similar, so you guys can't see, but the red is very similar to what we already have here. And how about this? Maybe 
maybe something like this but just making sure it doesn't cover or this tiny one this tiny one okay Can you hear Zuja barking at something or someone? Mm, and this one, how would I like it? This way or maybe a different one? Maybe a couple. I like it. I do want brown because we have a little bit of brown on in the background of this postage stamp where the flower is. But yeah, this, the shape by itself, I don't think it was working really well. And this one I think works great. Okay. I love how colorful they are. So let me pause for just a second and I will run my sewing machine with just probably a straight stitch uh, around those tags and I will be back um, so that we can add something to them. Okay, so the tags are stitched. I also decided to go around the um, paper clips with a little bit of gold which I will show you guys in detail in a moment but first about these so recently I've been loving adding this little trim I've no idea what this is but it is so so pretty um, it, it has been gifted to me as well so adding this with something else so kind of like a double double th now I have a little bit of this eyelash trim in in pink which could work well here but I would actually <clears throat> maybe prefer to find some 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 eyelash trim that would be cream uh, let me let me check you guys oh, here it is I think cream will work better on these it's it's just pretty neutral pretty neutral colors so I'm going to have three pieces around the same size and I'm going to do the same with with this gold it's just so pretty it looks a little bit like a Christmas tree decoration um, but just like a mini skewer <laughs> okay and the way I'm just going to I'm going to do it is I'm just going to pair those two together and go through the hole and loop both of them here I think my gold might be a little bit too short on this one but maybe Sorry, I just need it a little bit closer to my eyes. Does it work? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, then this one. Again. <clears throat> awesome. And the last one. Right here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, of course, I have tons of little threads here. After doing this, so let me just <clears throat> put them to the bin and I think we are done. So let's look at what we've done today. So I have three tags completed and ready to be added to my uh, to my completed ephemera stash. So here is this one. And then this one. And I really like those gold stars and sequins. And then the smallest one. And all of them have this nice nice topper thingy and then we have our um, altered paper clips so here is this one this one this i really like how this one turned out this with a stunning stamp and this with vintage vibes, which I also love. Okay, you guys, so thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope you had a nice relaxing time. Let me know in the comments um, what you were doing while watching, what projects, uh, what project were you working on, or maybe you were just relaxing. Um, I would love to know. Thank you for spending uh, your time with me today. And uh, yeah, I'm wishing you a a wonderful weekend and I will speak to you guys very very soon in the next video. Bye!